Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft. I am Smelly. In another hole in the ground. Across from the map room. Right? So we're gonna do another little room down here. But this time it's going to be a melon farm. Um I never was gonna build a melon farm, but you know I'm thinking. I don't really need mel well, I do need melon, because you know you healing potions and such but what I mostly want is pumpkins because it is an underrated light source I mean we got we got uh, glowstone and we got sea lanterns but you know the first I think the first besides torches other than torches light source was and maybe fire, too. I don't know. But real light source was uh, pumpkins. And they look kind of good. As long as you turn the jack-o'-lantern's face around and just have the pumpkin, it's a good light source. So I'm going to get a few of those, and I might use them in more in, like, the tree farm and other areas. And I'm laying out a basic pattern here. What I want is this to actually be the dirt. This is where the pumpkins will go or land. Oh, I meant to count. Oh, it's right there. So the pumpkins will grow to here. And I'm going to be a little ambitious and test my redstone skills, which, as you know, is low. So I'm not going to show the redstone on camera. I'll, I'll explain it off camera. And I'm basically using another person's design, which I can't remember right now, but I'll tell you later, and I'll put it in the description. Yes, I remember. He's called GT Experience. That's his YouTube name. It's his design. Good. I'm glad I remembered. I'm almost positive that's it, too. GT was a good video and a good design, and it was really fast and well done. I liked it. And so his design, well, you know, he's a good builder, so he could build it as big as he wants. But he just showed, I think it was, I don't know, 16 length or 13 length 14 50 60 i think it was 16 and it was in a row but the only difference is mine i'm going to turn it around in this room and have it come around i could even make it one bigger depends on how big the redstone's going to be Whew, had a cup of coffee talking a mile a minute can you tell so that's where that will land and actually let's put this row here too um this is where the pumpkins will actually land and this is where they'll grow and then the piston shoot out from this side and a hopper minecart goes underneath so we need another row behind so if they grow here and they pop out here i can make that turn just had to make sure i can make the turn with the minecart otherwise this would be all for naught but it's minecraft you redesign Piece of cake. Uh, so that's good. Dig it. So what I'll need is some space here. I could put it on that side, but let's put it on this side for where all the red stonery will go. Red stonery. The observer block. It's only going to use one observer block. I actually looked at a few videos. And a lot of people are using massive amounts of observer blocks you know two for each pumpkin you know so it gets uh, farmed right away and then goes into a water stream or hopper chain or hopper my car picks it up that just seems overkill in a single player world so what it'll be like is like if you remember my sugar cane farm which is up there which is, I kind of wish was down here now but we could connect it it's still in a tunnel uh, the sugarcane farm only has one observer block too. So when this first one grows to its max height, the observer block hits and then they all go, which is perfectly fine, right? Because it really doesn't matter. They're all going random. So we probably still get just the same as yield. And if it's a lot less, it doesn't matter because I have uh, two full chests up there and full chests down here. I got tons of sugarcane, no worries. So that's what it'll, this one will be like too. Pumpkin grows here, piston will fire it off, all of them. So even if there's not a pumpkin there, it's still gonna fire. 
pumpkin or melon. And that's the basic idea. I like this design exactly because of that. One observer block, it goes once, the um, the hopper minecart takes off once and not tons of times. That's kind of annoying, right? I have to put the water back here. I should probably do that first just so I don't screw up the redstone. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do this mostly off camera. I'll come back to an update if I have any troubles or anything or maybe do a time lapse. Who knows? But I'll be back. I think we are basically done. Let's do a quick test. Pushes it. Whoops! Down the hole. Oh no! So much for my test. And it came all the way back, I assume. Let's watch that again. Uh, boop. Yeah, no sweat. Back and forth and stop. And see how it knocked off that uh, thing or that block. So now all we have to do is place the pistons, which I don't know if I have enough actually. Now that I'm looking at it, I could just do the math. Every time I've done math on camera, uh, no, nope, not one there. It doesn't work. Uh oh, uh oh. Why did I put the water there? It's not a big deal. I just, no, that's fine. That's where the water should go. I just have to put blocks back there, dummy. Something wasn't looking right. And whoops, let's put stone bricks. Now we could put them. Good. This thing should work flawlessly. Famous last words, but I don't see how this won't work. Oh, I did that one wrong. Uh, that's fine. You know how much stone I have? Tons of stone. Okay. Finally. Derpiness. Uh, that ain't right. Yeah, no, it ain't right. Why isn't it right over here? Oh, I went too far in. No? Wait a minute. What's going on? It goes over the water. I was right. Uh, didn't look right, then it looked right, then it didn't look right. Oh, that's what we want. Over the water. Well, the piston's over the water. That's why I was confused. Okay, now we got this. Dauk! Dauk in here. Good. Now pistons. Frassin, frassin. Let's cover that water up. Uh -huh. And I am perfect! That is a smelly man first. I am never right on the money. It was an accident though, so I can't really take much credit for it. Let's go like that for now. So this should work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna till this and then go get some pumpkin seeds and melon seeds. And voila, could I put another one here? I mean, in theory, I could. Might just do that. But I'll be back in this jiffy. Oop, you're seeing what I did. Have I showed that? I'll be back. Okay, so it had a, its first growth, and you guys know if it worked or not, but I do not. Brilliant! 
That is... Oh, I locked myself in here. Cool. So now what the dealio is, is to make this look pretty. I'm thinking something like this. Problem is I won't be able to do this corner because they don't, you can't, you could go like that because you can't put two, two, what are these called? Trap doors right here because this is one spot and that is two things in one spot. Can't happen. And I also want to maybe do the grass. I think what I want to do is this. This is what I have in the storage room, the green concrete powder. So just to keep it a little consistent, I'll do that. And maybe a pattern. I want to make this a little more, instead of like every other room out there, make this a little more pumpkin-y and melony. Melony. Just to theme it up a little bit. Just so, oh, down in a hole. Just so everything's not the same. Ooh, danger, danger. Let's close that up and go, boom, boom. Oh, it missed it. Don't worry, don't panic, Smelly. It's all right, it's all right. And that's not what I wanted to put there anyway. I want to put this. Boop, boop. Oh, that's a trouble. Uh, that's a trouble. Um. Hmm. Does it do it if it's in the corner or just there? No, there we go. So we'll have to do that on both. So this is going to take a long time. Well, not a long time, but just a little bit of thought, a little bit of thinking. <laughs> so I have to think about it. And I'll be back when I'm done thinking and it's done. Okay. Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. I am your host, Smelly. Did you guys see how much work I've done? Did I make note of it explicitly? I don't think I have yet. Get that off. <clears throat> I did so much. Look at this hallway. Doesn't it look great with the sugar cane along here and the trap doors? Oh, it's beautiful. We got sea lanterns down below. So that looks good. And then over here, for some reason, I don't know why I did this. I, I was spending a lot of time. I, I can't remember if I said this at the beginning of the episode, but I was trying to get a recording done and I ended up just keep doing things over and over and over some different projects so I did this little thing with the mossy cobble and I only put a couple of vines in here and man do vines go crazy nowadays watch I'll probably get rid of these oh can't let those vines go away oh and I hid some lighting in here to make it a little more ambiance I bet you that grows back Bet you this will shift over somehow. I don't know how vines work anymore. I don't think I did anything in here. Well, I've been stealing leaves off these trees. That's one thing I've been doing. Uh, but they all... Oh, that kind of scared me. Hey, buddy. So, yeah. Done a lot of stuff. I even put another tree up there and finished off this wall. Uh -huh. let's, let's see. Uh, maybe... There we go. Yeah, so that room looks awesome. This looks cool. I don't know quite what it's for. It's just, just for ambiance. And then, of course, the room. Now, when you come down here, you can go down to the mine or go up to the bay, the jungle village. And then you got the map room. And now, you probably just saw it a little while ago, this room. I made a weird little pumpkin man there. I thought that looked kind of cool. Now you know it's pumpkins and whatever in here. Another in that, nothing too spectacular. I uh, just, you know, did the same thing I did in the other room. Like I said, I wasn't going to do. Except I did do the roof differently. I did this pattern of spruce and jungle wood. And I even threw in some dark oak for fun. Just I just did that a second ago. And this thing has gone off a couple of times. And I've stole some. And I still have that many in there. 
So it'll work just dandy. Um, I wish you could hide that. I put leaves up there just so you can't see back there very well. It does its job. Yeah, that's it. That is it. Did I do anything else? I think I did. I mean, I finished little things up. I would do this over here, but I can't. Well, I could do it here. Yes, I could do it here. No problem. I can do it in both. Uh, where'd those bricks go? Over there. Yeah, I have enough room. Don't I? How much do room do I actually need? I need one, two, three, really. But I could get away with two, I think, just to kind of match it up. Because I only have two. I don't need that. Yeah, I do. Hmm. Hmm. Why is that one there? Oh, yeah, I put two there. So I could, but I'd have to move that over. What a pain. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Or just keep it like this. It's not a big deal. It's a good transition from there. Oh, I haven't finished this roof yet either. Or the ceiling. Uh, I concentrated on this. But doesn't that look good? Yeah. So that's it. We'll call it a day. I don't know how long this will be. Because a lot of it was off camera. But until next time, I'm smelling. See you later.